every Magic the Gathering set is tanking right now. The prices are going down and where is it going to end? Where is the bottom? Please join us in this video for a little status and update about the current MTG market. As Sophie said, prices are dropping right now. And the price drop might be due to the financial climate, but it might also be enhanced further on the way wizards are selling their products right now. A lot of products being released and they are back to back. What I can see uh, when I see the re responses from players it is that players simply can't keep up. Players lose interest on sets, they can't immerse themselves in sets, and there's too much product available for them. This might further enhance the downward spiral of the prices right now. This is actually a serious problem for Wizards of the Coast. They have amped their prices, they have had a price increase on the product in a climate that's actually on a recession. So this is bad. Another problem that I think we really do need to address is the idea of the bait and switch tactic that they're using right now. Wizards, they gave us Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate and I think most people, even though they enjoyed the set or if they didn't, can agree it should just have been called Battle for Baldur's Gate. This had nothing to do with the original Commander Legends and it really, really tanked our expectations because we really thought that we were going to get a great set with reprints for Commander and we didn't. All the reprints for Commander they had pushed to Double Masters 2022 and Battle for Baldur's Gate was just left hanging and it wasn't a great Commander Legends set. It might have been an okay decent Adventures in the Forgotten Realms type set, but it wasn't a great Commander set. So I think this is something they've done before and we're a bit concerned they might also do it in the future. We already know that we're going to have the Wilds of Eldraine and the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. They're pulling out two really big hits, a place that a lot of people really connected with and loved. So. Are they going to pull another bait and switch? Are they going to put a name on something and then they're just going to hand us something completely different? That is a really big concern because people do get disappointed and people feel burned that they're not getting what they had expected. And it is up to Wizards to set some realistic expectations for the products that they're selling. So what are Wizards going to be able to do right now? How are they going to fix this? Well, for one thing, they need to release less product. They need to have less product and long between so people can actually enjoy the products and immerse themselves and also try out different combinations, try out different decks, try out different builds before they are being flooded again with new cards and new sets. So I think this is going to be really important and I hope that is a change we're going to see in the future of Magic, less sets in standard. And also more immersion, spend some time on the lore, make sure you deliver on each and every set you know, more quality, less quantity. And also more playtesting. We don't want to see cards being banned here and there and everywhere. And we need to see that the set is actually being held together by law and by flavor. And we need to, to, to have this, this law attached to cards again, where you had the flavor text and you have all the cards uh, having references to each other, because that is going to build immersion for the players instead of all these cards that actually have no connection to anything whatsoever. Not even if you actually read the background stories being released by Wizards themselves. Exactly. And I also think there's another aspect. If Wizards really want to get back in the game and take that leader position, you need to make sure that you support your casual players at their, you know, LGS, but also you need more support for the pro players. At the local game store level, I think it would be lovely to see some promo cards more of them, more, you know, unique promo cards, maybe some play mats, both for the top eight, but also just for participation. Not everybody, but maybe a randomized, you know, lottery type style where one new player gets the chance to win a play mat or something like that. We need new players to come into the game if we want this game to stay vibrant and alive and if we want somebody who are going to take over our collections. So it's both an investment thing and a gameplay thing. I do believe that LSS, Legend Story Studios, the creators of Flesh and Blood are breathing down Wizard's neck right now. If you have a look at how many tournaments and how much coverage they're getting for that, I think it's evident that Magic needs to step up and take that position again. Make sure you give your players a lot of prizes and the recent debacle about the cosplay, you need to make sure that the cosplayers are compensated for their time, their energy and all the value that they bring to the conventions. So again, 
more casual play support and more support for pro players all around the world. I think that's an important step for Wizards. Speaking of playmats, we might have something great coming up, so stay tuned and for the future videos to see what I'm talking about here. Exactly, we're getting to number 500 subscribers and we want to do a little giveaway. So please do hit that subscribe button.